What's up, everybody? Welcome back into Pro Football Network Senior Bowl Preview. I am Cody Rourke, Senior NFL Analyst for Pro Football Network, and we hope you enjoyed our quarterback preview. Take a look at some of the underrated prospects in this week's Senior Bowl game in Mobile, Alabama. Saturday, January 30th, the game will be played, but practice is all week long, folks. And to be able to talk about the running back position now, which is very, very important, we're going to be talking with Dalton Miller and Ian Cummings, NFL Draft Analyst for Pro Football Network. You know, starting these off with you, Dalton, one of the conversations I wanted to have about the running back position. Some of these prospects, there's some big time names. You look at the SEC, you look at Najee Harris from Alabama, a big physical specimen who accepted an invite. He was a big surprise addition to the roster. In your opinion, outside of the big evident name from Alabama, where they seemingly produce running backs at a very exquisite level, what other running backs do you have your eye on? You know, it's a really good group of guys. You have guys like Trey Sermon, Michael Carter, uh, Kylan Hill is somebody who a lot of people liked coming into the year. Um, he only played, I believe, one or two games and then kind of uh, got out of here and, and opted out for the rest of the season. Showed he could catch the football a little bit um, in that Mike Leach offense and then bounced. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see those guys. Uh, but the one guy that I'm really interested in and one guy that I think can really show out here at the Senior Bowl is Demetric Felton. That is UCLA running back. He plays in the slot quite a bit. He is a legitimate receiving weapon on the outside. You won't get to see, and this is something that the Senior Bowl does really well for these types of players. It, it really you know, supplements their type of skill receiving, getting outside, showing their speed and elusiveness. And so these little shiftier guys are able to really, really have good weeks in Mobile. Um, and so I think that'll be really important for Felton to do, show those hands are consistent, show he can run routes, and show that he can be a package weapon at the NFL level. You know, Ian, I'm going to throw it to you next. You know, obviously, when we took a look at the running back position, I think Dalton touched on several important traits, being able to catch out of, you know, out of the backfield as a receiver, blocking in terms of pass protection. You know, these running backs, their stocks can rise or fall. Is there another big name that maybe you're looking at this week in practice to see how he does that, that could potentially improve his stock, if not already? Yeah, you're right. Versatility is very important at the running back position, and Felton certainly has it. I think he had over 500 receiving yards uh, in 2019, so he's definitely up there. Another guy I'm looking at is Oklahoma's Ramondre Stevenson. Um, he's six foot, 246, I think. So he's built like a power back. You expect him to be a power back, but I think he's a little slept on. I think he has some traits that translate beyond that role uh, he has really good contact balance i think he has good straight line explosiveness too and he also has some elusiveness too um i want to see more from him as a receiver but given his explosiveness and contact balance you know he has some skills that translate there as well so i'm really interested to see how he's utilized and you look at the nfl nowadays running backs you know, they are important it's also a fairly rec replicatable skill set you know like guys get injured and guys can get opportunities and make the most of those I think Stevenson's a guy, you know, might not start right away, but he has the traits to really, you know, uh, get the most out of a workhorse role that he might happen upon. So I'm really interested to see how his traits translate uh, this weekend. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And, and Go ahead, Don. Sorry. He's kind of a guy who, you know, a lot like A.J. Dillon last year, who we're, mm -hmm. we might think might be a, a day three guy and, and might be a backup to start. But he does have those legitimate traits to be a bell cow back. And so we could see him go a little bit earlier than even we think. Well, I, I think one of the things, too, I want to throw at you guys, too. How often now in the NFL have we seen – teams that usually have used one traditional rusher. I mean, they've embraced the running back by committee approach. I mean, maybe the exception is the Tennessee Titans with Derrick Henry because he's probably the biggest, bulkiest back right now in the NFL. But now we're starting to see how valuable franchises really look at having a guy that could do it both as a receiver, as a rusher, and also a guy in pass pro. But they don't want to put that just on one guy. They want to divvy that out amongst a you know a couple of guys there. So obviously, when it pertains to the running back position, we're going to be listening to our good friend Tony Pauline, our NFL draft insider here at Pro Football Network work what he has to say this week at mobile alabama as it pertains to the running back position but be sure to check us out on our next series where we take a look at the nfl uh, potential nfl wide receivers here at the senior bowl this week at practice mm -hmm.